Georgetown Hoyas take on the two seed, the Tar Heels of North Carolina. He then gears in his control, and Mario Andretti in his heyday. You can see the point total. Obviously, he can penetrate and score, but defensively, he's so disruptive. Talking about his ability speed-wise to get involved in plays and then turn it to the other end. And I'm glad you referenced that because you're about to lose. <laughs> Wallace off the bounce back from Stackhouse. Carolina comes in at 26-5 and five overall. And a block by Stackhouse. Well, Lavery does a great job on saving the ball, but right here you mentioned... Scholarship fund of each school. Point guard can see over people. Nice post pass by Williams. <laughs> and Iverson went up over the rim, but was called for offensive interference. He's not supposed to do that. The little guy with a serious case of the hops. I mean, he plays the wing when Williams goes to the point. Well, I guess they got to call it. But... On with the shot. Iverson, another board. Oh. Williams, the easy two. And a lot of poise under the rest, particularly early in the other rest. To take him to Georgetown. Well, Williams didn't play at all last year in transferring from junior college, and Iverson didn't play at all. And a bucket for Stackhouse as he took it all the way to the hoop. Strong as most. Well, Phil Ford said he had to improve on his dribble skills. Not bad there. The high release, the kiss. The rather affectionate for the heels, but he comes squared up, ready to take on all comers, too. McGinnis missed the runner. Wallace, the rebound, and bucket. Williams. Blocked by Rasheed Wallace, his fourth. Hold on. Stackhouse, the catch and score off the lob for Williams. In the second half here in Birmingham. <laughs> Send it in, big fella. <laughs> Having troubles on this end. Calabria. Wallace! Oh! Come back down, Rasheed. He was checking out how blue the sky was. And look. Coming down in a game fashion. It has plagued him in the first two games of this tournament. Well, if one doesn't get you excited, hold on, folks. All of Philly saw a lot of this in high school. at Simon Gratz. Send it in, big fella. Where his wicker was in the first couple of minutes. Well, of he's half. very confident offensively, though. He's got a good stroke. And Iverson is finally in the field goal column. That's his first from the field tonight in overtime with Wallace on the bench. Iverson banks it in. Gets by Allen Iverson. Georgetown is back with an 11. Make it 13. Another dunk for Rasheed Wallace. Oh. Harrington. Iverson for three, and he's heating up. That's three in a row for Allen Iverson. He missed a second. It got tipped to Iverson. Iverson to the bucket. <laughs> and again, is stepping in. It's been defense for Georgetown. They get it going and beat you down with the numbers, but now they have a guy who can blow by and create for himself. They also had wing people to compliment. 14-17 remaining. Wallace fouled, counted. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Now he's got to take it to the zone a little. We're not respecting him. Iverson found a gap in the zone to score. Wallace. Got the bounce. On the wing, they put they generally put Williams. I was out there now on the top and let Iverson find that gap in the zone, dribble across. He usually stops in the middle. That time took an extra bounce, but more control in his game right now. And that's what's gotten Georgetown Perkin on. And now Wallace with three. Sean, it's good that you didn't go to an ACC school because they have too many good centers for your game. <laughs> Timmy Duncan's a great rebound uh, rejector and rebounder. How about this guy? Each play, of course, and that enables you to gamble and be aggressive on the perimeter. You can lead him into it. Tale of two halves tonight for Iverson. North Carolina leads by four. Wallace over him. The one for the last ten from the floor, but Iverson loses it. Stackhouse slams into the lead. It's nine. Wallace over Harrington. Count it. And the foul on O'Kellen Harrington. Iverson. Off the ball, pretty good, huh? Try and be somewhat patient. So much for that. Iverson, that's a three. He had only three points in the first half. Now has 21 in the game. Shot clock. Williams didn't get the bounce. Wallace! Use the body, spin. He's an old-timer. Mm -hmm. The loop kind of second fly. Let me... Williams, foul to seam. Stackhouse! Oh! It is... The penetration after some good D leaves it up for grabs, no doubt.
in anybody's house. This is a strong completion. <laughs> William for Iverson. He collided with Calabria. Offensive foul, four fouls on Iverson. And John Thompson waved his arms in disgust at the official Tom Harrington. Going to win 90% of the time. <laughs> Only 78% of the time. Very close to your winning percentage, but you didn't quite get it. Now by 13. Stackhouse a block and a great save. Well, everybody not to give it up. Both clubs getting after the basketball. 74-64, the final score. The Chevrolet players of the game. For North Carolina, Rasheed Wallace, 22 points, 20 of them in the second half, 12 rebounds, 6 block shots. And for Georgetown, Allen Iverson, 24 points, 21 of them in the second half, and 8 rebounds to tie his career.